Hi, and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be installing Visual Studio, not Visual Studio code, but the actual just Visual Studio IDE for Windows. Um, we're installing this. This video is coming out at the same time as the PowerShell GUI videos. Uh, so we're gonna be using uh, Visual Studio specifically for the WPF, uh, which is the Windows presentation framework, I believe. Uh, which we are going to be using to generate um, XAML code, which we are going to use in PowerShell to generate our GUIs. So this install is definitely more geared for that type of use, uh, but I'll be going over all the different options of the install. So let's go ahead and let's get started on how to install Visual Studio. So the first thing to do is uh, to just simply uh, go into Google. I always prefer to use Google for this one um, and every other search that I do. And we are just going to search for Visual Studio. And then the first option for me is visualstudio.microsoft.com, which is where you're going to want to go. And once you're on this page, let me just zoom in here for you guys. So we have a lot of different options. So we have Visual Studio, which is what we're going to be installing. And then Visual Studio Code, uh, which is super awesome. Uh, it's a super customizable code editor. I use this on my Windows and my Linux box as well. Um, and then there's Visual Studio for Mac as well. If you use Mac, you can also use Visual Studio Code on a Mac. Uh, I've used it on my MacBook before um, and it's worked great. Um, I went from Atom to Visual Studio Code, uh, but really as long as you're looking for like a super customizable text editor, Visual Studio Code and Atom are super great. Uh, in my opinion, uh, Sublime Text is also very good. Uh, but let's go back to Visual Studio. So we have here uh, Visual Studio, and then we have a drop down here. Of course, this might, the visual appearance of this might change. And you're going to be given uh, multiple options for Visual Studio. Uh, the only free option is the Community Edition. So we are going to download the Community 2019 Edition. And this is going to download a small little file, which is going to be just an online installer. So we're just going to save the file and we are going to go into our downloads folder. So let me just zoom in here so you guys can actually see what's going on. All right, so here I have the downloads here. I downloaded it once a little bit earlier, uh, but we're just going to double click on this new one here. And we're just gonna click on yes there. Uh, so basically we get this little prompt, uh, which is basically just needs to set up some uh, stuff for the installation. So it's gonna be downloading and installing. So this part goes definitely pretty fast. Uh, it, I believe it's about like 50 megabytes, that part of the download. And then we get into the installing Visual Studio Community Edition. So here we have a lot of options. Let me just make sure you guys can see everything on the screen here. And maybe if I just maximize, let me just try see if this works. Uh, it's a little bit harder to see. Let me just zoom in here. All right, so we have tons of options here. Uh, so there's they they split it up in all different types of really types of development. Uh, so they have web and cloud development. If you do a lot of like Python development, you could definitely uh, check this box off, especially for our other videos that we do on this channel. Um, if you code in JavaScript and use Node.js, you can also download that, ASP.NET and some web development. If you do some work with Azure, you can set that up as well. Um, but we're gonna be working with this .NET desktop development. Uh, so this is build WPF, Windows Forms, and console applications using C Sharp, Visual Basic, F Sharp uh, with .NET and .NET Framework. Really what we want is the WPF and the Windows Forms. So we're just going to checkbox this. Um, and then some of the other stuff that uh, we can install here is desktop development with C++. Uh, you can do some universal Windows platform development. You can do some mobile development, some game development with Unity. Um, 
and then with C++, so that would be with like Unreal Engine um, and DirectX. And then some of the other tools that they have available here is the data tools to work with SQL Server and then a bunch of stuff to work with uh, data science. If you're using uh, Python to do a lot of data science stuff, you're gonna want to ha probably have this in there. Um, and then if you wanna create and debug something in like a Linux environment, they give you that option. If you wanna build Visual Studio um, extensions, they give you that option. So there's definitely a lot of options based on what you want. I definitely would not recommend installing all of them because that would be a large file. So just the .NET desktop development uh, without any of the extra packages here that we aren't going to need is going to be six, six and a quarter uh, gigabytes large. Uh, so obviously if we start adding in a bunch of these, like if I add in this one, this one. So if we did just install every single one here, it is fairly large. It adds up quite quickly. Uh, we would be at 38 gigs. So there's definitely a lot of stuff here. So I would just install what you need just to not take up any unnecessary space. Obviously with hard drives of today, it's not really an issue, um, but if you just don't wanna really bloat your computer up, I would just install what you need. So here we have just the .NET desktop development, of course, because I did that, we installed some of these extra ones. All right, so we have our six and a quarter gig. So let's just install while downloading. We're just gonna click on install here at the bottom. So here it's just installing here and downloading at the same time. So this will probably take a little bit of time so I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward to when this completes. All right, so the install is done here. So uh, basically, as soon as it finishes, it'll launch Visual Studio Code where you can sign in, which we can then sync uh, some of the settings across devices and do live share. Now what live share is, is pretty cool. So if you have a team, um, that you're working with, that you're programming something on. Uh, the live share lets you guys all code at the same time on the same project. Uh, so people can like watch you code, you guys can do pair programming really nicely. Uh, it's definitely a really, really nice feature. I am not going to sign in right now just to uh, keep my account uh, secure. So we're just gonna do not now. And we're just gonna pick a theme. You can pick any theme you want. And we are gonna click on start Visual Studio. So this is gonna prepare a few things. Uh, might take like uh, two, three minutes or so, depending on your computer. Uh, the install took me roughly about um, five to seven minutes. So it really doesn't take too, too long to install and download. Now, of course, this would be dependent on your internet speeds and your computer speed as well. Uh, so here we are in Visual Studio 2019. We can create a new project. We can clone a repository from GitHub uh, or DevOps, which is uh, Microsoft's um, like Kanban board or DevOps boards uh, to manage projects. Uh, you can open a project. You can open a local folder. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to create a new project. And we are gonna go ahead and look for, there should be a C-sharp Windows form. So Windows form app dot net framework. So we are gonna go ahead and, or you can do a WPF application as well. Uh, let's do WPF application. And let's click on next. And we're just going to leave the defaults for now. Um, you can definitely name this anything you really want. And we're just going to click on create.
So here we get um, a full IDE. Um, and this is going to be a GUI designer, so we can design the forms. And then down here is where we have our XAML code. Uh, so the XAML code is actually what we'll be importing into PowerShell if you're watching this video because of the PowerShell series. Um, this is really going to be the code that we're going to be working with. But this is the designer. Uh, it's pretty awesome. We have a toolbox here, which should give us all of our controls so we have all of our controls here so we can like drag buttons in and we can like resize them we can customize the text on them oh i do not want to actually code them so let's just go here so there's definitely a lot of options uh to do so if uh, you can change the content of the button here so we do test button. There it is. We just change the text to the button and we can move it anywhere we really want. This makes designing these forms that we were building earlier in the PowerShell GUI series a whole lot easier. I'm going to have a separate video on just building these forms because uh, I don't want to mix these two videos together. This video is just for how to install Visual Studio. Um, but definitely, if you're looking at that PowerShell GUI series, we are going to be playing around with this window quite a bit and designing forms to use in PowerShell. If you are curious on that series, I'll be posting a link to the playlist in the description down below. And please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified when that next video comes out. And I will see you on the next video.